breaking news from America's space coast. In a dramatic turn of events, SpaceX finds itself at a crucial crossroads. While California's Coastal Commission slams the door on increased launches at Vandenberg, Florida's Sunshine State opens its arms wide, and the timing couldn't be more perfect. At stake, SpaceX's ambitious plan to ramp up to 50 launches per year. But this isn't just another corporate relocation story. It's a clash between bureaucratic resistance and America's space future. The battle lines are drawn. On one side, California's regulatory headwinds. On the other, Florida's launch-friendly shores. What makes this story even more compelling is the surprising alliance forming in SpaceX's corner. Even California's governor, Gavin Newsom, traditionally not aligned with Elon Musk, has stepped forward declaring, I'm with Elon. Meanwhile, Florida's strategic position, infrastructure, and leadership have created what might be the perfect landing spot for SpaceX's expanding operations. With Congressman Vince Fong now joining the fray, condemning decisions based on personal animus and mounting pressure from both sides of the political aisle, this story has evolved far beyond rocket launches. It's become a testament to the intersection of space innovation, politics, and America's competitive edge in the space race. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in the world of space exploration and innovation. Let's dive right in. The political tension surrounding SpaceX's launch capabilities has reached a boiling point in California. Behind closed doors, multiple lawmakers are preparing to challenge the Coastal Commission's decision, but they're strategically waiting until after Election Day. As one Sacramento insider revealed exclusively to us, many don't want to be seen supporting Elon publicly until after the election, even if it's just about SpaceX launches. That's why you haven't seen other Democrats step forward yet. This hesitation highlights a crucial problem, the dangerous intersection of personal politics and national security interests. The Coastal Commission's decision wasn't just about environmental impact. Some commissioners explicitly cited Elon's social media posts as a factor. Legal experts are calling this an unprecedented breach of protocol. Miles Green, a veteran aerospace consultant, puts it bluntly, in my 25 years in the industry, I've never seen anything like this. When you're dealing with national security launches, personal opinions about a CEO should never enter the equation. It's like refusing to fuel Air Force planes because you disagree with Boeing's leadership. But while California grapples with this controversy, Florida has been quietly building what might be the perfect launch ecosystem. Here's why Florida isn't just a backup plan. It's potentially SpaceX's best move forward. The geographic advantage Florida's position offers SpaceX a natural boost that California can't match. At Cape Canaveral's latitude, the Earth's rotation provides rockets with an extra 914 miles per hour of velocity essentially free fuel. This means heavier payloads, more efficient launches, and significant cost savings. A former NASA engineer estimates this could reduce fuel costs by up to 15% per launch. Infrastructure readiness. Cape Canaveral isn't just launch ready, it's launch optimal. The Kennedy Space Center already hosts advanced tracking systems, fuel storage facilities, and emergency response teams specifically trained for space operations. Recent upgrades, including a new $50 million lightning protection system, make it even more attractive. Weather resilience. While some worry about Florida's hurricanes, the state's weather patterns are actually more predictable than California's fog and wind conditions. Cape Canaveral averages 300 plus clear launch days per year, compared to Vandenberg's 250. The launch facilities are built to withstand Category 5 hurricanes, and the emergency response systems are world-class. Economic incentives. Florida's government has introduced unprecedented support for aerospace companies. Recent legislation includes tax breaks for rocket manufacturing equipment, workforce training programs specifically for aerospace jobs, streamlined permitting processes for launch facilities, research and development grants for space-related innovations. The state's commitment goes beyond paperwork. Florida has invested over $1 billion in space infrastructure since 2019, creating what Governor DeSantis calls a launch-ready ecosystem. But this potential move isn't without challenges. 
SpaceX's competitors in Florida are pushing back hard. Blue Origin has submitted a detailed opposition to the FAA, arguing that SpaceX's proposed 44 annual launches would disrupt their operations. United Launch Alliance went further, filing a 22-page document questioning SpaceX's safety assessments. The competition's concerns center around three main points. Safety margins overlapping with existing facilities, environmental impact of increased launch frequency, potential disruption to other space operations. However, inside sources suggest these objections might be more about market share than genuine safety concerns. A former FAA official, speaking on condition of anonymity, told us, when you look at the actual data, SpaceX's safety record is exceptional. The real issue here is that their efficiency threatens the traditional launch market. The numbers support this view. SpaceX's launch costs are roughly 60% lower than their competitors, and their turnaround time between launches is three times faster. This efficiency gap explains why traditional aerospace companies are fighting so hard to maintain their position. Recent developments suggest SpaceX isn't just considering Florida as a backup. They're actively planning for expansion. Satellite images show construction already underway at potential new launch sites, and local job postings hint at a significant workforce expansion. The move could reshape America's space industry landscape. Florida's Space Coast could see up to 50,000 new jobs over the next five years if SpaceX increases its presence. The economic ripple effect could generate billions in regional growth, from high-tech manufacturing to tourism. This situation represents more than just a corporate relocation. It's a pivotal moment in American spaceflight history. As traditional aerospace hubs grapple with political interference, Florida's embrace of commercial spaceflight could establish it as the new center of America's space future. As Florida and California take diverging paths in their approach to space innovation, one thing becomes crystal clear. The future of American spaceflight may well hinge on these crucial decisions. The FAA's upcoming ruling on SpaceX's Florida expansion plans won't just affect one company. It could redefine America's position in the global space race. The story of SpaceX's potential pivot to Florida demonstrates how political decisions and regional support can dramatically shape technological progress. With over $12 billion in projected economic impact at stake, Florida's welcoming stance could transform Cape Canaveral into the Silicon Valley of space exploration. Stay tuned to Elon Musk 24 hours for exclusive updates on this developing situation. Our team is tracking the FAA's decision process and will bring you the latest developments as they unfold. Remember, space exploration isn't just about rockets and satellites. It's about creating opportunities that benefit entire communities and advance human achievement. If you found this analysis valuable, help us continue bringing you in-depth coverage of space industry developments. Hit that like button, share this video with fellow space enthusiasts, and don't forget to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours. Leave a comment below sharing your thoughts on Florida's potential to become America's premier space launch destination. Want to support our mission of delivering accurate, comprehensive space industry coverage? Ring that notification bell to never miss an update. Your engagement helps us create better content and keeps you informed about the future of space exploration.